Welcome to programming and python.com. I'm back with another video. Here in this video, I'm going to tell you how to print the pattern of letter W. In the previous videos, I have discussed about patterns up to letter V. Here in this video, I'll tell you about letter W. I also I will also keep all those previous previous videos playlist in the description. In the comment box, I'll pin it in the comment box. And also in the I button in the right corner of this video. So make sure you click that I button for all the previous videos. So now let's start with pattern of letter W. So guys, this is the pattern of letter W I'm going to print now. So let's see how we can print that. Let, uh, let us assume the size as 7 here. Here I'm statically assuming the size as 7. But while I go into my uh, PyCharm, but while I go into my PyCharm ID, I will take this size from the user based upon this size, the size of the letter may vary. As you know, these are called rows, these are called columns. So I will loop this rows and columns first. For R means rows in range of S, that is the size. For columns, C in range of S, R for rows, C for columns, these are all rows and these are columns. So first we need to loop these rows and columns and then now I need to find conditions where we can print spaces and where I can print stars. So first we'll write conditions for printing spaces and in all other, in all other, in all other cases we we'll print spaces. So here the first row, I mean the first column last column and these slanting lines so there will be four conditions one for the first row so i'll write the conditions if if this is the first column so we'll say column equal to equal to zero and this is the last column column equal to equal to s minus one and here if you see there is a pattern here the row is three here the column is also three the row is 4 here, the column is 4, the row is 5, column is 5. So there is one condition uh, with this condition, the same condition we used in previous uh, tutorials for printing this slanting line. So write row equal to equal to column and it should also be greater than half. The row should be uh, greater than half so that it will print from the, so it will print the lower half. And row should be greater than S by 2. In that case, it will print this, uh, this, this half, the lower half, and one more condition is left. That is this. If you see for this, there is for this also there is a pattern. This is four and this is two. Four plus two is six. This is five and this is one. Five plus one is six. Six and zero. Six plus zero six. So that is the condition here. So that means row plus column equal to equal to s minus one, and here also, and Row should be greater than s by 2. So you can, you can see the condition here. Row plus column is should be equal to s minus 1 and it should also be greater than s by 2. So these are the conditions where we will print stars. So in all these conditions we will print stars or or or. So in all these conditions we will print stars. These are the four conditions. First column, last column, this landing line and this landing line. So in all these cases. I'll print stars I'll also print and as space because by default print takes slash and as next line so if I don't specify any end parameter it will uh, print this star and go to the next line but we don't want here but we, do, but we don't want that here. After printing star, it should continue until it will continue until the first iteration and then should go to the next line. So I have given n as empty or space. And in else condition, I'll simply print spaces. So this is the else condition. I have written conditions of printing stars in if conditions and in else conditions, I'll print spaces. So all this uh, empty uh, gaps will be filled with spaces and after the first iteration should go to the next line for that after this first for loop I will print an empty print after first line then should go to second line third line fourth line for that purpose I will do this an empty print so that's it for this program guys that's it for the explanation so now I will go into my PyCharm ID code the same program see the output 
So I'm in a PyCharm ID now. So here I'll tell you how to print the pattern of letter W which I have just discussed in whiteboard. So as usual, I'll ask the size of the user size equal to input enter any size i will also need to cast this to integer just for taking only input uh, integer numbers and here i'll make a little condition like if size is less than eight i'll just prompt the user enter to print something which is uh, greater than eight so here in else i'll print the actual pattern print underscore pattern and i will pass the size here actually this condition uh, this if uh, this uh, condition like checking the size is 8 or not is not mandatory at all i am just doing it for the output purpose so if the bigger numbers looks better the bigger letters looks better than the smaller ones we cannot able to clearly see if the letter is small that is the reason i am taking this uh, uh, uh condition checking the value should be minimum eight that's it that is nowhere related to the con uh, pattern condition we are going to do so i have copied this and i write a definition i mean like a function n and here as i said we'll have two loops for row in range of n for column in range of n so we have two loops i mean two loops uh for loop or uh, two for loops one for rows and one for columns now i'll add the conditions here if so i'll put the conditions here if the conditions are met i'll print stars print star and as i said we need to make an n as empty your space so that it doesn't go to the new line because by default print takes n as a new line that means as soon as it prints something it will go to the new line i don't want that so i have given this n as an empty or a new line whatever you wish empty or space so whatever you wish else print i'll print spaces here even here i'll give n as space so now after printing this uh, first thing you need to go to the next line now so i'll print an empty print so that it will go to the next line so this is all the conditions we do and now here we need to write the conditions here so as i said we have four conditions one for the first column if column equal to equal to zero this will be the for this will be for the first column or for the last column column equal to equal to n minus one this will be the for the last column or so now i'll write conditions for those two slanting lines as i said uh, row plus column equal to equal to n minus one and also they should be greater than row by two that means we need the second half row greater than and by two and or there is another conditions another condition where row equal to equal to column and here also we need to make sure row is greater than n by two so i think these are all these are the four conditions i have discussed so let me run this and see how it So that's how you can print the pattern of letter W. Hope you like the video guys. If you like it, please consider subscribing to my channel programmingandpython.com. I'll continue this pattern series up to letter Z. And after this letter series, I'm planning another series. And also all the code I discussed here in this video will be also be on the GitHub. I'll post the link in the description. I'll also make a blog post of it. I'll also post that in the description. So make sure you're not missing description. I'll also post some useful links for some coupons and discounts on this on some other courses on and some other python courses so see you in the next video stay tuned bye bye